In this paper, we introduce an automatic algorithm to approximate a mesh animation by a linear blend skin. Our method is particularly effective for parameterizing motions that result from quasi-articulated motion and provides stable reconstructions with minimal parameter tuning. To skin a mesh sequence, we first estimate proxy bone transforms for the otherwise skeleton-free mesh sequence. Given the motion sequence of any triangle, we can compute its rotation sequence using the polar decomposition. We cluster these rotation sequence points using mean shift clustering, and thereby estimate near-rigid mesh components. Mean shift clustering allows us to identify near-rigid structure robustly in the presence of rotation sequence outliers, and automatically determine the essential number of near-rigid components with minimal parameter tweaking. The mean shifted triangle rotation sequences identify triangles undergoing similar near-rigid motions, from which we estimate per-frame bone transforms. For improved skinning accuracy, we use non-rigid bones obtained by fitting affine transformations to each set of core bone triangles. Given the bone transforms for the animation, we estimate vertex weights using automatic and robust least squares techniques. The resulting skinned animation approximates the input animation surprisingly well. The results are particularly good for articulated models. By analyzing displacement errors in the rest pose, we can generate an articulated displacement correction model that lets the skin mesh animation converge to the original animation. An important component of our approach is the efficient parameter-free estimation of non-negative vertex weights using non-negative least squares. Non-negative weights avoid very large weight values, or overfitting, that can make the reconstruction of skin mesh animations unstable under small perturbations. Without non-negative weights, overfitting can lead to unstable skin corrections with poor convergence properties. On the other hand, flexible bones with non-negative weights tend to provide fast converging approximations without visual artifacts. With only seven displacement corrections, this animation is almost indistinguishable from the original. Stable skin reconstructions will also allow small edits of the rest pose, such as this, to be stably transferred to the rest of the animation. Furthermore, stable reconstructions are even possible after attribute-based simplification of the skin mesh animation. While our approach is best suited to quasi-articulated motions, it can accommodate highly deformable models such as this collapsing cloth horse. However, in general, the lack of near-rigid structure can make skinning less reliable and convergence less impressive. Adding more bones helps to skin highly deformable models such as a flag blowing in the wind. However, the resulting approximation can be non-smooth. Adding normal corrections can help. We can also exploit the proxy bone structure of a skin mesh animation to support efficient collision detection by building bounded deformation trees about triangles and local frames of reference. Finally, a major motivation for constructing skin approximations is to support efficient hardware rendering using matrix palette skinning. Skin mesh animations can be rendered almost as fast as rendering the undeformed mesh since only a few hundred floats must be sent to graphics hardware each frame. Consequently, very large animations such as this stampede consisting of 10,000 skin mesh animations can be computed at interactive rates using commodity graphics hardware.